Hey everyone and welcome to Screams After Midnight. I am Peter, that is Tim, and we are working our way through Tales from the Crypt, the HBO horror anthology show. We are on the penultimate episode. This is season 7, episode 12. It's called Ear Today, Gone Tomorrow. So, full spoilers mm -hmm. for the episode, as always. <laughs> Tim, before, yeah. I even, before I even say what it's about, I just want, like... Mm -hmm. Second last episode, did it finally mm -hmm. break the streak of shit? <laughs> oh, uh, I wish that it did. No, but this was Jesus. I I don't even. I, I honestly, I, I can barely even tell you what happened in this episode. This you, is you. You were trying to deceive me <laughs> because I started this episode with the the impression that it might be good because Tim messaged me last night saying, oh, finally, a good episode of Tales from the Crypt. And I thought he was being serious. Uh, yeah, I wanted to give you a little false hope. Maybe, I thought, I thought maybe you could use uh, a little bit of pick-me-up <laughs> so you weren't dreading it when you go into it. I don't know, I was, just, I was waiting the whole time for it to be, be good, and it never was. And I was like, damn it, Tim, you asshole. What have, what have you done to me? What have you done to me? Uh, you're welcome. This, Jesus, I don't, even, I don't even know what to say about this freaking episode. <laughs> Do you want to describe the plot? The plot, uh, so an old old safe cracker, mm -hmm. uh, played by, what's his name? Uh, the actor's uh, Robert Lindsay, who... You probably mm. won't know. He was on a lot of British TV for a long time. Uh, but right. he, I think he, it worked for it. He's the safe cracker, and he's been, you know, mm. sort of held under duress by this sort of the tough dude who's working for this rich mm. guy because they want him to crack a save in under a certain amount of time, and he fails mm. to do so. And it turns out that he, he had a, he got beat up in prison, and his hearing is not as good as it used to be, and he can't, he can't do it anymore. But mm -hmm. the rich man's wife convinces rich man to not kill him and give him a second chance but the reason why she does that is because she actually wants him to do something for her he wants her he she wants him to crack into her own husband's safe so she can run off with all of his money so what i love <laughs> see, what, what i like that you're doing right now is that you're you're trying to avoid like the really batshit crazy <laughs> thing that happens in this episode because everything you're saying right now sounds like pretty normal and ordinary yeah for 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 a for a tv plot yeah sounds pretty ordinary <laughs> and but somewhere along the way we we find out that that's this wife what's, what's her name let me get the name kate kate lawson <laughs> we find out this kate lawson has some enhanced eyesight <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Putting it mildly, sure. <laughs> <laughs> and she says, that, hey, we can fix your hearing. I've got a surgeon. And she sends him to this surgeon. And basically the surgeon explains that they've been experimenting with giving animal transplants to humans to improve various elements of their body, right? So, Bingo, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> eyes, eyes from something that can see well. Mm. Uh, in this case, he's going to give them the ears of an owl. Or the 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 then ears of an owl, so it'll have better hearing, and he gets like super hearing. You know, he comes out of this operation, and he's like hearing heartbeats. He's hearing like the the the, the minute sounds of everything. <laughs> so he he cracks the safe with the wife, and then turns on the wife and says, "No, nah, you know what? I don't need you. I'm just going to shoot you." He shoots the wife. He tries to run with the money. However, it turns out, along with her cat eyes, she got the nine lives of a cat. Because, as you know, Tim, <laughs> a cat having nine lives is a, a biological thing. That is an actual yeah, thing. Course. It's not just, sure. not just a saying. It's just an actual yeah. biological element of being a cat. <laughs> yeah. I mean, well, we both have cats, and I'm sure we've gone through a few of their lives already. Oh, yeah. Fireflies die like six times. He's still, he's yeah. still, he's still <laughs> trucking along. Um... So we have that, and then the added twist to this is that basically emphasis on twist. Emphasis on twist. The added twist to this is that it's really unstable and the side effects when this happens. So what the the because it turns out the wife's not betraying her husband. The wife and the husband kind of had a bet on what he would do, but ultimately what they've been doing is they use other people to test the the animal parts, and then they take the organs from the person that had the mutation so they don't get the, the weird animal side effects. Because what happens to our main character here is that he grows a beak. 
he turns into an owl <laughs> like an an owl bursts like from his head it's insane <laughs> i mean i'll give them this that 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 special effect looked good like i was like oh that actually looks quite nice it uh, i mean it looked cheesy but like at oh, least it, it was but it, was, but it was interesting it was like oh yeah, that looked yeah, cool yeah. Yeah, you're you're underselling everything. This episode is insane. <laughs> Unfortunately, not in a good way. Like, if it was super weird and cheesy all the way throughout, it might have been like kind of enjoyable. But like, yeah, the, these people that get these, uh, you know, animal implants, like they, which it's just it's just such a weird plot to uh, throw in, um, you know, with. Uh, uh, with this rather, you know, like more grounded kind of, you know, like crime level story <laughs> and to throw in this weird like animal implant level uh, to it is, I don't know, j- just bizarre. But like it, it makes the people act like animals like the, you know, the woman is like she's very cat like she's constantly purring and throwing up hairballs and okay, all this you're right, stuff. You're right. She's a, she does throw up hairballs <laughs> and then she gets really horny. And correct me if I'm wrong. Are cats known for being horny? <laughs> uh, pff, I don't think so. Like, well, I mean, maybe sometimes people might say, like, I don't know, like a cat in heat. Is that a phrase or something? No, a dog in but heat's the phrase. <laughs> dog in heat? Okay. Yeah, so I guess not even, really. And the, Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't think, um, yeah, that's <laughs> that's a super big thing. Uh, unless but, they're unless they're implying that she had another animal thing that was making her horny, like that was just, that was another organ she had. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it, it, it's crazy. And actually, they you know, didn't we do this on another episode? Like, wasn't there another episode about some like uh, it was a very early episode about like a a mad scientist that infused this guy with like the nine lives of a cat, and right, he was like a circus performer, and his whole trick was like he would die and then. That sounds Rape familiar. Up. Yeah, it yeah. S- sounds familiar, but I mean, I couldn't tell you what episode it was or it anything was, else. I, I want to say it was like super early on, like first season. Um, that might have been with the one with uh, Joe Joey Pantalone, Pantalone, whatever that oh, actor guy. You're right. It's like episode three. It was like episode three yeah. of season one. This was like three years ago, Tim. How are you remembering <laughs> this? <laughs> it's like yeah, so it's like not the the whole nine lives thing isn't even original for this show. Uh, but it's, I don't, I don't know, man, this episode was weird. If the whole episode was them, like, uncontrollably doing animal stuff, maybe it could have been a little interesting, but uh, as it was, again, we just, you know, are forced to have a lot more boringness in the beginning. It drags on, you kind of have this plot in these characters you don't care about, and then you have a little interesting thing at the end, and then it's kind of like, mm, we're done. I think our problem is, is that, there's not enough set up with the main character to even like care that he's betraying the woman. It's not like, wait, oh, yeah. did, did they ever even set up that he's untrustworthy or that he's like this Weasley? I, like, I never really got that from no. the plot. It was kind of, I don't know. No, not at all. There's, uh, you know, I, I love weird, like, uh, mad scientist stuff and like animal hybrid stuff. So I don't know, th- this should be up my alley, but unfortunately, this is just another shitty episode. I guess maybe slightly better than some of the other episodes this season but I w- still no I, sadly i would say this is in the, the top third of the season <laughs> which is telling you the standard of the season i, I think yeah. the ones that are the best episodes this this season mm. probably the pastor who had the daughter that one again it wasn't good oh but yeah, yeah 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 i think mm. that and then maybe the weird like advertising one where it was like the ad stuff was making oh. people yeah, yeah. It's again, all right, I guess. <laughs> I'm not saying they're good. I'm saying that the barrier here is so low that those are t- <laughs> probably the, the two most interesting episodes so far. Yeah, I no, mean, no, certainly. Because uh, what else have we got to pick from? Like, to, I don't know. They're, they're the kidnapper. All very... <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, they're all super forgettable. Uh, is that that writer with his neighbor and the uh, monkey paw? Ah, uh, um, the the one where the, the the report from the grave, the scientist wanted to prove that all right. <laughs> he could bring dead back or whatever. Like, yeah, that was so forgettable, so forgettable. Yeah. Also, I really didn't like the uh, the look of this episode. Like, it was just such a boring like setting. Like, 
<laughs> like it looked like they were just filming in like some like producer's house or something. <laughs> yeah, it, it was just like I don't know, just not interesting to look at anything in it. Yeah, I could see that. I could see that. Um, yeah, I, I mean, honestly, it's all dud. Like, I feel, I feel like at this point, we're a broken record about why these episodes don't work. It's just it's uninteresting yeah. characters. It's plots that just kind of seem random, without any kind of like story. Mm. Like, I, I feel, I feel like. You go back to the earlier seasons of Tales from the Crypt, I feel like even the, the weaker episodes, you could see what the arc of the story was supposed to be from start to finish. Like, the character mm-hmm. starts here, they're, they're shitty, so they go through this change and get their comeuppance. In this episode, mm-hmm. the main character seems to be the one that's the victim until, like, the last couple of minutes, and then he gets comeuppance, and it just it feels kind of yeah. weird. Uh, yeah, no, it's the... Like, early on, like, it, it kind of sets up uh, the series in general. Like, it kind of sets up what their formula is, and you kind of get used to... Like, there's certain things that you expect uh, in an episode, and, you know, th- this last couple of seasons just haven't really delivered it. Everything just feels very dull. Um, you know, they're usually not interesting. Um, they'll usually maybe have like one teeny tiny bit of like gore or horror but it's always at the end and it's always very dull and not good looking <laughs> like I, you know there was like some like legitimately cool creepy stuff as i think in some of the earlier seasons and episodes and whatnot but yeah this is just uh, you know mm. uh, it's just <laughs> it's just a dud uh i mean thank god though that they're just like half hour episodes like if, if this was uh an hour long tv show oh, it'd be God. like torture <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'd, we'd be, we'd, I mean, we're already pretty miserable, but we'd be really miserable <laughs> after yeah. some of these episodes if they were a full hour. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but thankfully, they're 25 minutes. And as always, the Crypt Keeper was just like a store clerk. Yeah. That's, that's uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, which, I mean, those, yeah, they, they never have anything to do with the episode, but at least those segments are fun, and, you know, at least, it, it's always nice to look at the Crypt Keeper and stuff. To, they used to be, though, right? Like, back in the early seasons, they used to be more tied to the, the plot. Um, I, I think more so. Like, uh, I think, you know, you would sometimes still get random stuff that maybe wasn't as much, but it definitely seemed like there was more of an effort uh, to do that. Yeah. I, just, I, feel, like, I feel like... Th- with this stuff, there's just been there's been nothing. Like everything's been, it's almost like they're intentionally going out their way to pick something that is a complete opposite of what the the episode's about. <laughs> yeah, like I don't know. It feels like maybe they just like you know filmed twenty back to back, and we're just like, all right, put them on whatever episode <clears throat> we need to. Yeah, with with the, the only reason why that may not be the case is because the end of the episode or the the, the end of the intro it has to introduce what the plot is of the, the episode. Sure, yeah. So unless they just like generically move his mouth for that bit and just like Pot- ah, I'll hope it fits. <laughs> Possibly. I don't know. Ah, it's crazy. We got one more though, so it'll be. Uh, I mean, f- for better or worse, I'm at least interested to see since it's a series finale if they maybe try to do something you know different or crazy oh, i'm assuming they won't but it's definitely different tim oh okay all right interesting it's animated <laughs> oh Ooh, okay i do like that all right i'm, I'm, I'm excited I've, I've got a sneaking suspicion this this last episode's a backdoor pilot for something else that never get made Okay, interesting. Well, they did have a Saturday Morning Tales from the Crypt cartoon show, but that mm. it's very, very kiddie. So I assume they wouldn't uh, do that on a regular Tales episode because uh, they're usually pretty, you know, R-rated. But I, I'm, I'm uh, going to put it past them, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, are we going to do the animated show after this? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, God, no. No. No, 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 no. We're, we're done. We're out. <laughs> I think I think part uh I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think part of the cartoon show the plot was like the Crypt Keeper's brothers were always trying to get his stories or something, so he'd always be like, you know, trying to run away and like, no, you can't have my books or something. <laughs> I I've never seen the animated series, so I can neither confirm or deny this <laughs> this alleged <laughs> plot, but uh yeah, I, uh, Tales from the Crypt has been a rough time for a while. This episode was no mm. different. We have one left, and I'm just thankful that it's almost over. I'm thankful we have one more, and then actually mm-hmm. we're done. I can I can hang up my tails from the crypt hat and well, move on. Well, I mean, 
we still have some movies to watch. <laughs> we can get to them whenever. <laughs> well, I, I will say though, I uh, I mean, I've said it before though, I freaking love, love, love the first movie. So I'd be very excited uh, to do that after we're done the series. And you've never seen it, so I'll be interested to see what you think. You mean the second? The first movie was before the the show. Oh well, yeah. I I mean the uh, like the first movie that's you know like like based on the show okay sure. you know what i mean yeah because the first movie was like a kind of standalone thing from the 70s oh. yeah, fair uh, enough. This... yeah yeah so the, 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 <laughs> tell us the crap players what you thought of the episode in the comments below like and subscribe all that stuff if you want to support the show and the channel uh head over to patreon.com slash tv and you can support us over there as so little as a dollar per week you get these tills reviews a week early mm -hmm. although they're almost done so that won't be something you get anymore um Mm -hmm. But of course, the main thing to do is go and check out the main show, Streams After Midnight, where me and Tim mm -hmm. talk about horror mm -hmm. movies every week, and we have lots of great episodes, and it's they're worth checking out. And <laughs> if you enjoy our, our our banter, and let's be honest, we have much more interesting things to talk about on that on the main mm -hmm. show usually now. Uh, mm -hmm. Go have a go have a watch. Uh, <laughs> but that is uh, that's also thank you once again for watching and listening. We always appreciate it. Keep watching scary TV, guys, and we will see you next time. <laughs>